hello everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Tom, and today we are going to be renovating an apartment in the sims 4 so i haven't done one in a while and this particular apartment is one that i haven't really played in or renovated ever so that is what we're doing as you can see in the top left corner we are building in the apartment 702 zenview which is located in the fashion district within the world of san maishuno which is the world i came with city living and to be honest, I didn't really expect to like this renovation as much as I do. After we finish the floor plan, there should already be three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and one long open living space plus a balcony. And I think that sounds perfect for a multi-generational family that wants to live in a condo as big as this. Of course, if you want to download this build, it is already on the gallery under my ID, C-A-I-T-O-M-K-T-O-M. And you can also find tray files in the description box below. So feel free to check those out if you're interested. And one thing about apartments that just really get me is the fact that you have to download them as rooms um if you guys have any questions or need like a quick tutorial on how to download these apartments then feel free to let me know and i will gladly do so so right now we're just kind of working on the actual furniture that we're going to be using um, i think i started off kind of using placement furniture just to see how the spacing would work out between the kitchen the dining and the living room and as you can see i kind of squished the dining room into the kitchen and that's because that the door that is leading to the balcony kind of matches how the other balconies look like i wasn't sure if i was going to match the balcony exactly to how the other ones look like because on this particular wall i do have free reign over what i can add but I thought having it match was kind of a nice detail and I do end up changing the door to something a bit nicer and not that weird base game door that is kind of small compared to the wall but let's not get into it. So I kind of had this idea of what kind of family was going to be living here. I was looking through the career options and the astronaut is one that I haven't really built for. So I started fleshing out this story of this now elder sim or sims that used to be known for their space discoveries and they have since settled down and retired. I was actually going to include four different generations. There would be an elder, their adult child, and a young adult grandchild who would actually be pregnant with the great grandchild. But I think I'm getting a bit ahead of myself and I'm just kind of rolling with the hype of the new EP that's coming out soon, growing together. And a four generation household just seems like a lot of fun. But unfortunately, while I started furnishing the upstairs, I realized that the room I was going to have for the great grandchild did not have a single window. And to remedy that, I just had to relocate the bathroom and expand the second bedroom instead to fit two grandchildren. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to build a home that can fit four generations, but for now, we're just gonna have to stick with the three. Coming into this renovation had me a bit worried that it would turn into another scrap build, never to see the light of day, and that's mainly because I have tried to renovate the other apartment on this floor, and it did not turn out well. I scrapped it like three times, and um, I just couldn't find a floor plan that was kind of to my liking. In my defense, the layout of the windows and the weird shape of the whole lot were the main reasons I struggled. You know, I guess I'm just so used to having free reign on everything. I don't usually renovate apartments, although they're pretty fun. Um, but with the tool mod, it can actually eliminate that window situation. Um, but I don't think I'll ever post a speedball that has me changing the windows. I build so other people can download and if I use the tool mod to change the windows, then either you guys are going to have to install the tool mod or the window placement and the curtains are just, they're not going to align. Anyways, the floor plan. Let me talk about that because I know I've like talked through the whole beginning process of the apartment. I don't really remember the original floor plan, but I do think that what I have is similar to what it was before. I just kind of popped into the lot, immediately bulldozed it, and started building. And I know we like went on to cluttering the insides, but let me just complain about apartments real quick because they are so unnecessarily annoying and buggy and they just make no sense to me. So while I was building, the game wouldn't let me paint the floors. It kept saying something along the lines of, this is not a room or something. And mind you, I'm like rushing to get this done in time to upload on Tuesday. Quick spoiler alert, I didn't finish. 
Um, but anyways, I'm searching for a solution on the Sims forums and people have said that redrawing the border of the actual lot would fix it. Guess what? It didn't help. <laughs> At this point, I spent maybe like two hours on this thing, maybe like 20 minutes of it just kind of seeing what I can do to fix the problem that I'm dealing with. So as my last saving grace, I just reload the lot because I noticed Lil Simsy does this as well, but for different issues, and it works. Thank goodness. I also ended up having issues with the balcony after bulldozing, plus the issues with the EA app that basically gatekept my game twice, one time for a whole day. So the whole flooring situation was really icing on the cake. And with that, I can confidently say that that was the reason for today's delay. And let's talk about the actual build because I've spoken through the entire living space and we're now moving on to the bedrooms. Um, the living space, there really isn't much to it. I had a lot of fun cluttering up the kitchen. Um, surprisingly, it's like kind of small, but still pretty fun. The whole color scheme is kind of purple well not kind of it's very purple and there are accents of pink blue and yellow although i'm not sure about the blue and yellow part i'm like trying to remember um what i did for the whole build but i built this and i was so sleepy i that's why i couldn't finish the video yesterday but yeah here we are finally decorating the primary bedroom so this is the only bedroom that is on the first floor and because it's on the first floor i kind of assumed that it would belong to the grandparents although i don't know how peaceful it would be because it's like right next to the living space and you know if you're gonna have children they're probably either gonna be loud in their rooms or loud in the <laughs> main living area i mean hopefully they don't mind I mean, it's not like The Sims actually mine, it's just, you know, it's nice to talk about how realistic these things would be if, you know, we weren't just building in The Sims 4. But yeah, for this particular build, I do end up adding a lot more clutter than usual, um, even in the bathrooms. And I want to say that's partly due to the fact that I don't own the bathroom clutter kit. And I know a lot of the items, they look really good in the game. I know there is someone I follow on Instagram, but they make these really like very cute kids rooms with the black bathroom clutter kit. There's like these wall decorations that come with it. And it looks so good if you want water themed kids room. Um, but you know. I don't have that so I shall cope with the debug items and the particular ones I'm thinking about in the bathroom are these toothbrushes. So there's an action inside the game where your sim can brush your teeth and they actually end up holding a toothbrush so if you go through like these show hidden object cheats you can find it. And I just put that on the counter as like oh maybe the younger sim or the child that's living here they're just a bit lazy with it and they just throw their toothbrush on the counter even though the toothbrush holder is right there honestly i thought it was a cute touch and i think it does do well to bring some extra personality for these builds because when it comes to bedrooms i tend to just get the basics done and not really spend that much time kind of fleshing out what i think the sim would be like and I don't think I'll start doing this for every single build because it, it takes a while. Like this video was supposed to be 30 minutes long and I cut it down to like 24, 25 ish minutes. And I just don't like taking so long on builds. I don't know. I mean, I guess it makes sense. The longer you take, the more detailed and the better it is. I barely talked about the grandparent. Um, that's the astronaut's room, by the way. And now we're onto the balcony. So this balcony, I, it's pretty bare compared to the rest of the apartment. I didn't know what to put because it's so large and I feel like all the necessities were already inside. But I do end up adding a splash pool that comes with the Seasons EP. It's something that can be used by well, basically everyone. So I thought it was a cute touch to have on the balcony. I mean, the size of it is already pretty large. It's almost the size of the entire living space if it isn't already <laughs> um and you know i was originally gonna put planter boxes here but why not utilize it for something else 
and instead of plants getting all the sunlight you can get the sunlight and eh? eh, sounds pretty good but yeah other than that i just placed on a chess table because i know that the astronaut career it requires you to level up your logic skill and i also added a telescope but that doesn't function because the balcony is considered a room so it's not really outside um and if you don't know why telescopes need to be outside is because there is actually a death um that came with the telescope so if you're looking at it you well yeah if you're looking through it you can spot a meteor and if you don't run inside in time you can actually get hit by the meteor and die i almost had that happen to my sim when i was starting this new family and oh my gosh i started freaking out because i believe i heard about it from one of little simsy's videos and i was like okay i want to test my luck but also i really hope i can get my son to run inside but there's also another thing you can do with the telescope is that you can peep at the apartment or like peep at your neighbors i don't know if it's specifically within um san maishino because that's where i had my sims living at the time but i thought that was kind of that was kind of weird that you can do that but you know it's the sims it's not like they're gonna get arrested for peeping um but yeah now that the balcony is done we can finally talk about the astronaut's child's room so right here you can probably see me messing with the nightstands i don't know what is wrong with this particular side of the build but anytime i try to place those dream home decorator or i think really just anything modular in that little corner where the bed used to be um it would have this weird shadow cast over it that was i wasn't having it so i just moved the bed in front of the window something i was trying to actively avoid because why would you have your bed up against this floor to ceiling window but you know we just we're just gonna have to make do i was surprised by how many windows are actually in the second floor and um why does it have more than the bottom floor i know they have a balcony and i can technically add more windows but Come on, man. Maybe the grandparents wanted a better view. Or not. I don't know. Maybe they like to sleep in. They've had a they've had a long life and they need some time to kind of rest up and all that. But yeah, this room is actually blue and yellow. And I think I mentioned that earlier about how there are some blue and yellow accents, and I guess you could just consider this whole one room an accent. Um the reason I chose those colors is because the high school years couch downstairs has these pillows on it that are in blue and yellow and I wanted to incorporate that in the build because I chose that sofa to really inspire the whole color scheme. So that's what we're doing here. And right on this wall where I'm placing the desk is where I have these jerseys, these sign jerseys. Um, the whole storyline for like the parents and how they relate to the grandparents is that they when they were younger they saw their parents go up to space a bunch of times and maybe they're not too fond of space because it kept their parent away from them for a long time so they decide to go into sports athletics something along those lines just because i know that the astronaut career requires you to build up your physical not your physical your fitness skill you know alongside your logic skill so i thought that was kind of you know it made sense in my mind and i thought it was kind of cute and i don't usually build with um with like athletes in mind and since i have access to discover university they have a soccer ball which you can see and i don't know where the football comes from i think that comes from high school years but I have access to those packs and, you know, it'd be nice to include some uh, skill items that aren't as obvious and can also be used as decoration of some sort. One thing I want to point out is that smaller soccer ball that I sized down. So there is a swatch where these hexagons, the black hexagons that you usually see on soccer balls, are just these different colors. And I thought that was so cute and would make so much sense if they had a child living here and maybe the child likes to play with their parents like soccer or whatever sport um i don't know i thought that was really adorable 
I would have put it in a kid's room, but you know, I had to I had to do some quick changing of the floor plan. I think right after this bedroom because I deleted the footage of when I first decorated the bathroom. But don't get me wrong, you'll see the bathroom again in the middle of me decorating the second bedroom. Not the second bedroom, the third bedroom. And if that was confusing, basically you'll see me transfer items from where the bathroom originally was and just kind of redecorate it in a larger space. I was really glad to see that I could include a larger bathroom because I know I always make my bathrooms two tiles by six tiles or whatnot. Basically just the bare minimum. Um, and you know, for an apartment like this where you have such a large family, you're probably gonna want a larger bathroom anyways. And right over here is the bathroom that I mentioned moving into. Um, you can see me transferring all of the items from where it used to be to where it is now. And I believe the new size of the bathroom is four tiles by three tiles, minus the little corner that's between the sink area and the shower tub combo. Um, you know, it's pretty spacious. When I first started decorating it, I was like, um, am I gonna have enough furniture to fill up the space and not make it feel out of place? Fortunately, the counter clutter and the little clutter I placed next to the toilet do well to fill up the bathroom. I will say though that there's only tile next to the tub and the tub itself has its own little enclosure. So it's kind of useless. <laughs> Um, I could have put the tile against the wall that the sink is on, but I thought it, you know, it was nice to have like a couple blue accents against all of the white that is there. And in the footage, I do forget to record myself replacing the floor, but don't worry, I do put a blue dine out tile, so the blue bathroom is done. And here we are in the final bedroom. So as you can see, I've already expanded the room and I'm now trying to figure out the layout of it all. I still want to include this desk that I have a streamer computer on. And to give, you know, some more context as to why, the eldest sibling here, um, I imagine them to be a gamer. I think they were inspired by their parents and their grandparents and how they followed their dreams to kind of did whatever they did and not really follow in the footsteps of their parents just because oh uh, you know you don't have to f you don't have to do what your parents do and so the eldest one is a streamer because they're really interested in gaming and the younger one is into music um i think both of them still admire their grandparents a lot so that's why i kind of decorated this room to be a similar color although not too similar because there are bits of orange that i kind of took from the parents room because yellow and orange are sibling colors or whatever so yeah i was honestly surprised by how well those parenthood um posters kind of fit so that is where i got that music inspiration from and after decorating this other desk for the younger sibling, that is pretty much the whole build. So I just want to thank you all so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video and would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And if you want to download this build, it is on the gallery under my ID, C-A-I-T-O-M. The details are actually in the description box below, as well as tray files. Thank you again for chatting with me, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.